The past 10 minutes, we did learn that a deputy who shot a man during an eight-hour standoff is now on leave. The standoff forced a dozen neighbors to be evacuated this morning along Highway 221 in Ashe County. And Channel 9's Dave Faraday learned this all started when deputies went to check on the suspect. Well, the SBI was out here for seven hours collecting evidence in the case. If you look behind me, you can see the main building here along Highway 221 in Ashe County. They focus, though, a lot of their attention on that camper right over there. SBI agents placed evidence markers in the door of the camper along Highway 221. This afternoon, we could see where several rounds struck the small camper. Rebecca Miller lives less than 100 yards away. She heard the gunfire and then got a call from her husband. And he said, you know, that there's something going on. I probably needed to get down and stay away from the windows. And at that time, I went ahead and did and got to a safe area of the house. Sheriff deputies evacuated Miller along with a dozen other neighbors after they say they were fired upon. They responded to the camper for a call about a welfare check. During the standoff, deputies say they were shot at 10 different times. Kevin Gregg lives across the street and couldn't get home last night. Really, you don't hear about much crime up here in Ash. I mean, it's a real quiet town, really. You know, you wouldn't expect to hear nothing like that. The NCDOT says the contractor for the $65 million Highway 221 project is using the building. The contractor told us the man who died did work on the road widening project. Rebecca Miller is thankful none of the officers were hurt. Absolutely. As a community, we were all praying for the police department and the first responders, the state troopers, everybody working the scene. I did get a chance to talk with some of the co-workers out here. They described the man who died as a good guy and were surprised by what happened here overnight. Back to you.